occupational therapy is support for occupations. So they are things that are everyday things that you want to do, you need to do, or you have to do. So that might be wanting to work on um, achieving your best life. That might be in the education setting, the workplace, uh, in home, or in building networks for everyday life. OTs find out what is meaningful to you. So we want to work with your strengths and your interests and your likes and dislikes. And we really help to scaffold what's important around you and the areas that you want to work on. So we understand that for many adults, they're um, organizing their own plans and running their own funding and schedules and daily lives. Um, whereas for some other adults, uh, they need a bit more assistance. So we work wherever our adult clients need. OTs work with our clients on their everyday activities. Uh, so that might be banking, it might be transport, it might be building friendships or work. Uh, it might be um, working with them on their social anxiety or their mental health. Uh, sometimes it's around things like cooking or cleaning or setting up a uni schedule. Uh, so really they're the activities that our, um, our clients want to do. OTs work anywhere our clients are. So that might be in our clinic rooms if they choose to do that, but I would say the majority of our work is actually outside the clinic. We're working, taking buses, we're working in schools, we're working at their workplace, we're working in their homes or their sporting clubs. So anywhere people are doing things, that's where OTs work. With permission from our adult clients, we are able to work with anyone who's involved with our client, whether that is school or speech or psychology or anyone else in their life that we have permission and that's warranted to work with. Often that helps so that our client isn't having to tell their story to all these different people or to have to hand over what other people are doing. It often helps so that everyone can be working on streamlined goals rather than um, the person working on all these different things at the same time. So this might be achieved in a meeting, it might be achieved in an email thread, it might be achieved in a you know a communication book style thing that we hand around to each different therapist. So depending on how the client likes that to be done, um, and some clients like us to behind the scenes, we will often do a lot of work so that everything moves seamlessly for them um, across their different therapies. So the benefits to adults getting a late diagnosis for coming and working with an occupational therapist is we're very good at working out with them what is important to them, what they want to um, either continue doing or start to pursue doing, and then helping to break down the activities they're doing into the micro parts or the micro skills of those and then to help scaffold in extra strategies. It may include doing some assessment, um, which may be formal or informal or some intervention, um, but things like a sensory profile um, or some sensory strategies might help someone to concentrate better at their workplace, or it might help them to be more organized with their uni timetable, um, or just to cope with the noise that happens in their house or their daily life. So we can often just tweak life um, to help support those everyday essential activities and then help the person to really have access to all those extra things that they really want to do. And yeah, just to make life easier. That's where we kind of focus. So it's on, yeah, everyday, everyday life and then the cream on top, which is all the things that we want to do as well.